This is the Cessna Citation CJ-1 Plus, one of the most fuel-efficient jets ever produced. Most private jets that are recreated in a bigger and better design are nearly identical to the original jets, and the CJ-1 Plus is no exception to this rule but it does have some valuable upgrades. The already low operating cost of the CJ-1 was slashed to become the lowest operating cost of any comparable light jet, and small upgrades on the engines and the increase in usable payload make a big difference. Burning an average of 132 gallons per hour, fuel consumption is slightly lower than the CJ-1, even though the CJ-1 Plus has a slightly higher payload. Another of the CJ-1 Plus's strong points also contributes to its low operating cost, the simplicity, but reliability, of its flight systems. Its cockpit has been significantly improved from the CJ-1 to offer the latest technology for situational awareness and FADEC featuring the ProLine 21 avionics package. But is it still one of the most fuel-efficient jets on the market? And can it still keep up with the more modern aircraft? Stay with us till the end of the video because here is everything you need to know about the Cessna Citation CJ-1+. Stepping inside, the cabin is 58 inches or 1.47 meters in width and 57 inches or 1.45 meters in height. The aircraft comfortably accommodates up to five passengers with the maximum configuration seating seven, offering a club seating configuration in the main area and a single forward-facing seat next to the entry door. The layout is designed to provide an optimal balance between comfort and practicality. The full-length dropped aisle gives the cabin a roomier feel, and most owners, knowing the economical features of the aircraft, are surprised by how comfortable it is. While the CJ-1 Plus doesn't feature a full-service galley, it does come with a modest refreshment center. Located near the entry door, it is outfitted with room for light snacks, bottled drinks, and other minor refreshments. Given the jet's range and mission profile, Typically shorter flights, the galley serves its purpose sufficiently. The club seating configuration offers ample leg room, with each seat having an average pitch of 30 inches or 75 centimeters. The seats are well cushioned, can be reclined for added comfort, and also feature full 360 degree swiveling. The CJ-1 Plus is engineered with a bleed air pressurization system that maintains a cabin altitude of approximately 8,000 feet when flying at its maximum operational altitude of 41,000 feet. The aircraft features seven windows that are larger than those found on many light jets, which allow abundant natural light into the cabin. Talking about in-flight entertainment, the plane offers optional Wi-Fi connectivity and an advanced in-flight entertainment system. A significant plus point is its low cabin noise levels, the jet utilizes soundproofing materials to reduce engine and wind noise. While it doesn't offer a library-like environment, the noise levels are low enough to have a conversation without raising your voice or to enjoy your in-flight entertainment without distraction. The lavatory is basic but functional, consistent with what one might expect in a light jet. It's a belted lavatory, which means that in a pinch, it can serve as an additional seat. Given the aircraft's typical mission profile, this is generally deemed sufficient by most operators and passengers. The external baggage compartment provides 65 cubic feet, or 1,850 liters of storage space, which is more than adequate for weekend getaways or business trips. Now let's step into the cockpit. The layout is specifically engineered for single pilot operations and places a premium on intuitive design. The Collins system was an upgrade from the straight CJ models with standard features on the CJ-1+, including a co-pilot PFD flight management system, broadcast geographical weather, Skywatch HP, and landmark terrain avoidance and warning system. The aircraft also features integrated avionics, FMS performance database, FADEC engines, electronic checklist, and a maintenance diagnostic system that was not previously available on the CJ-1. Measuring approximately 60 inches or 150 centimeters in width, the plane employs a dark cockpit philosophy. The avionic centerpiece is the Collins ProLine 21 suite, which consists of three 8 by 10 inch high resolution LCD screens, which include two PFDs positioned on either side of an MFD. The PFDs also integrate an attitude heading reference system, delivering data on pitch, roll, and yaw. Additionally, Information from the Traffic Collision Avoidance System and Terrain Awareness Warning System 
can be overlaid on these PFDs for enhanced safety. The MFD in the middle serves as the go-to screen for everything from navigational maps to system diagnostics and can display real-time weather radar information and supports enhanced ground proximity warning systems. The CJ1 Plus is designed to be as easy to fly as possible. Many of its systems are automatic from de-icing to cabin pressurization. Engine bleed air is used for anti-ice protection on the wing edge and engine, as well as rain removal on the windshield, cabin pressurization, and heating. An automatic cycling system controls pneumatic de-ice boots for protection of the horizontal tail. The benefit of having such simple operational requirements is that it, this private jet can generally be operated by a single pilot, which provides excellent flexibility in flight operations. Communication and navigation are handled via dual VHF radios and a robust flight management system. In addition, the CJ1 Plus supports wide area augmentation system and localizer performance with vertical guidance approaches, thereby further enhancing navigational precision and safety. A noteworthy feature of the ProLine 21 system is the integrated autopilot and flight director which offer a range of functionalities such as altitude hold, vertical speed hold, and heading modes. In terms of additional features, pilots can access Yepesen electronic charts directly on the MFD. Engine parameters like fuel flow, oil pressure, and turbine temperature are displayed through an engine indication system that occupies a dedicated segment of the MFD. The cockpit also includes data link capabilities for weather information and communication through SATCOM systems. While not standard, synthetic vision technology can be integrated for a 3D graphical depiction of terrain. The CJ1 Plus is also equipped with ADS-B out capabilities to comply with modern air traffic management systems. Now let's talk about the engine, performance specifications, and how it flies. The CJ1 Plus is powered by two Williams International FJ441 AP turbofan engines with a TBO of 3,500 hours each producing 1,965 pounds of thrust. The aircraft requires 3,400 feet or 1,040 meters of runway to take off at sea level on a standard day. The engines allow a maximum rate of climb per minute of 3,300 feet or 1,000 meters and a maximum cruising altitude of 41,000 feet or 12,500 meters. One of its biggest performance improvements is its climb rate. It took 59 minutes for the CJ-1 to climb to 41,000 feet, but the CJ-1 Plus can climb to the same altitude in only 32 minutes. The plane has a maximum cruise speed of 389 knots, with an average hourly fuel burn of 132 gallons or 500 liters, which makes the aircraft an extremely fuel-efficient private jet. Fuel consumption is slightly lower than the CJ-1, even though the CJ-1 Plus has a slightly higher payload. The economy of the fuel burn can be largely attributed to Cessna's choice of engines, which deliver a little more thrust on takeoff than their predecessors, the FJ441AS. Natural laminar flow wings are still used in the CJ1 Plus due to their success in the previous Citation line. They took four years to design in a joint venture between Cessna and NASA, but were well worth the delay. The natural laminar flow wing delays the onset of flow separation longer, which improves the lift-to-drag characteristics by 10 to 15% when compared to previous straight-wing designs. The jet has a maximum range of 1,300 nautical miles, which is 1,500 miles or 2,400 kilometers, with a maximum net payload of 1,500 pounds or 680 kilograms, a full fuel payload of 550 pounds or 250 kilograms, and a minimum landing distance of 2,600 feet or 790 meters. The base purchase price for a new Cessna Citation CJ1 Plus is $5 million before options, and the charter price is estimated at $3,000 to $5,000 per hour. Naturally, prices will vary depending on availability, fuel prices, ground fees, and more. While the annual fixed cost is roughly $300,000 to $450,000, the average hourly operating cost is estimated at $1,500 to $2,500. Thank you for staying with us till the end. Here are two videos you can watch next. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.